Hey guys, uh, happy Thursday. Um, I see a lot of people posting about using pod filters and whatnot um, on stock carburetors and getting into arguments saying it's fine and whatnot. So um, let's start with, this looks like a carb from a Honda, I don't know, Honda Supreme or Honda Lead, I don't know. But either way, um, so first off, I guess we should talk about this. This is kind of how all your, um, how your throttle and all your different parts on your carburetor work. Your, this is where your main jet kicks in, and then it's, this is your wide open throttle. So this is as you open your carburetor, as you twist your throttle, these are all the things that are going to control your um, the amount of air coming in, your, com the amount of, um, well, air and fuel coming into your engine. So typically what I see a lot of times is people take stock carburetors from, a, and this we're just talking about two strokes, but, um, they take a stock carburetor from an Elite and they say, you know, I've got a pod filter or whatever can filter on it, but I can't get it to run quite right. And here's the reason why. So they don't have a pencil. I'm going to use a stud because my desk is full of scooter parts. Um, this is your main jet on Honda Elite, Honda Spree, Honda Aero. Again, two stroke. This is your main jet. Um, and you don't, as you can see here, you don't have a pilot jet that you can change out. So Basically, your only adjustment on that Honda um, is going to be this guy here. So, <clears throat> well, you have an air idle screw here, which is going to be very, very small as far as adjustments go. This is just your going to be um, mostly just your your low end stuff. That's your idle speed. So, when you're riding your bike, and you're typically most of us are somewhere, most time we're cruising, right? We're kind of riding here. So if you've got a pod filter, you're bringing more air in, and the only thing you can adjust on that bike in this section is going to be your main jet. So yeah, you upjet your main jet, and and so you're going to run um, richer up top here, somewhere you know somewhere in this region, five eighths to wide open throttle or whatever. You're going to run fine, um, but anywhere in this kind of this midsection here, you're gonna be lean all the time and you're gonna have no control over that because you're bringing in more air but you don't have a way to add fuel. If you do a pod filter, you can change your main jet out on your carburetor to get the correct mixture up here. But you don't have a way, you don't have a way to change a lot of carbs, you can't change your clip position, you can't change your needle taper and you can't change your um, pilot. So really, you're lean pretty much from three quarter down. You're gonna be leaning that whole section because you're allowing more air and you have no way to add fuel. So this is a Honda carburetor, um, again, from a Spree or something, I'm not sure. This is a, actually an OEM DeLorto uh, carburetor, I believe off a Derby. You've got three jets here. So some of the DeLorto, some of the OEM carbs are gonna have a pilot jet that you can change so you can get away with that. Um, I believe Carter said this was off a GP1 or something, but um, you've got your air idle adjustment, um, your slow jet, pilot jet, and your main. I believe that's called the slow. I don't. I always forget with these Delorto's. They have three, but typically we don't mess with the third. But um, you've got your pilot jet here, so um, so you can go. Ahead, so you can change your fuel in this region if you've got a pilot jet. But this is very rare. This is not very common on OEM carburetors. So that's a Delorto, and that's going to be the same as what a um, a brand new 17.5, 19, or 21 Delorto looks like. It's going to have these same adjustments. So a Delorto. Um, aftermarket, if you buy it aftermarket, you can, um, you get these jets. So, um, some bikes are going to be like this, not all of them. And then we have, um, this is Yamaha Zuma Bug Eye carb. So you do actually have a pilot jet here, but it's a super oddball, um, size and the amount of time you're going to spend trying to find larger ones. First off, it's going to be expensive. Yamaha's probably going to charge you, you know, eight or nine or nine dollars a piece for this, this jet. Um, so let's say you get three different pilot jets figured out. Now you've just spent $30 on your pilots and then you want to get different mains. You spend X amount on your mains. You may as well just get a new carburetor because you're going to spend more money in pilots and mains from Yamaha. Um, you can get these, these aren't that expensive. Um, but either way, you're going to spend much money trying to figure this out. So, um, on the Yamaha as well, if you don't change this pilot again, you're going to be lean all in this section. So, um, I've had guys argue with me, oh, my bike's been doing fine for X amount of time I run a pod filter or whatever it's just a matter of time um, until you seize your engine or overheat um, because again you, you you're you adding all this air in this section now this applies for big bore kits and this applies for stock cylinders stock bores if you take a stock bike and you say I'm, I want to add a pod filter 
um, and you can't change this pilot jet, well, first off, you always have to change your main if you do a pod filter or um, a pipe or a board. This always has to go up. Um, any shop that says you don't have to change your main when doing those parts has is totally clueless and they shouldn't be selling parts. Um, this guy here, if your car doesn't have a changeable main, then if you run any of those parts, you're gonna run lean in this whole section.